Hello and welcome to the Mind Your Hero podcast or the Mind Your Hero YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be doing things a little bit differently, which is video recording things. So this episode is available on YouTube as well as on the podcast. And today I have the most incredible soul who I am so excited to interview, Abby Dengler. Um, but you are married now, so I can't say Abby Dengler. We were at school together. So, you know, when you're at school, you always have school names. Um, but um, it's Abby Haramsa now. And yeah, Abby, her answer. and Abby has her own podcast, which I have been privileged to be interviewed on. So now the roles are reversed, and you are in the hot seat today. Yeah, look at this go. But anyways, hi Kai. <laughs> so happy to have you here, and thank you so much for agreeing to do this interview. So yeah, um, today we want to talk about. Abby's mind your body journey because Abby has had an incredible journey since we started working together last year and so much has changed and this girl is literally on fire if you follow her on Instagram which I will drop her Instagram handles below you will see such incredible things coming from this lady she is so determined her passion for everything that she's doing right now shines through every aspect of her profile and what she's doing but it's so amazing to see your journey and I don't want to spoil too much for the listeners but talk to me a little bit about who you are and where you were a year ago this time. Thanks Kai. So um, a year ago this time oh it was so different. I can't even begin to tell you how different everything was. So obviously we were in I think we were still in stage five of yeah. COVID here in South yeah. Africa. I'm pretty sure you are. So that was happening. Um, mentally, I was in a really, really, but when I say bad place, I mean like terrible place. So <laughs> I wasn't in a fantastic head space. Uh, my body, I was very mean to my body. I didn't like her and I was very nasty to how I spoke to her and that wasn't cool. Granted, I was quite substantially heavier than I am now as well, but <laughs> that aside, um, and then, yeah, I was, I think it was on Facebook that I saw the Mind Your Body post or something like that. I saw that and I was like, okay, cool. I've wanted to work with Kylie for a long time. So let me sign up to this guy. And that's when all of the magic started to happen. Amazing. So I think we should actually just fast forward a little bit. Just tell the ladies or whoever's listening to this, because I know we have some men listening to the podcast too, but can you tell everybody what you are currently working towards that gets me super excited? And then we'll go through the journey of how you got here, but what is it that you're currently working towards? So currently I am working towards my first IFBB show. So I'm going to compete as an athlete for the first time this year. <laughs> that is incredible. And mind your body, as you've said, was a catalyst to that journey, right? Completely, completely. So when I started Mind Your Body, um, for everyone watching who doesn't know what Mind Your Body is, it's like where Kai and Veronique Mitchell, who's my personal coach, work together to get your head right and your body right. So for me, when I started it, like I've always admired Veronique. I've always, always admired me. And I've always admired like girls who go on stage. And um I just completely fell in love with this idea. I've always wanted to do it. I've been like, okay, let me, you know, let me compete. This will be cool. This will be fun, you know, but I never had the confidence. So I was always like, you know, I'm not good enough. I'm never going to be able to get there. And then I started Mind Your Body and just, can I say, the, the community that I was faced with was absolutely incredible. And from there, I was like, I can do this. You know, I can easily do this. I just need to set myself a goal and I need to follow it now. So after I worked with Mind Your Body, I did, I decided to sign up with Veronique Mitchell and I've been training with her ever since. And I still see Kai every now and again, <laughs> patients, which is awesome. And yeah, so Mind Your Body completely started this dream that I'm living now last year. That is incredible. And what was your biggest takeaway? Because something that I picked up on now is that you said that you just didn't have the confidence. You didn't feel good enough. So what changed that for you? What, what led you to believe like, actually I have a shot at this and now you're doing it, which is also really incredible and really just want to honor you and see you for that because not many people have that courage to go after their dreams. So really 
really well done on that but what changed what happened for you in the process of mind your body that was like okay I can take I can take a shot at this so for me before I started mind your body I was naturally a very pessimistic kind of person in the way that I thought and spoke to myself and all of those wonderful things so I was like I said I wasn't very kind to my body every day I would remind myself like you're fat you're not doing enough you're doing this blah, 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 blah. And then one of the biggest focuses on um, in Mind Your Body that really, really stood out for me was the practice of gratitude. So that, as soon as you shift your focus, sorry, everyone, yes, I've got a missing nail. Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> but as soon as you shift your focus to, instead of focusing on what you don't have and being like, oh, I'm fat, oh, I'm lazy, oh, I'm this, the gratitude thing, oh, thank you, Lord, I can actually walk. Thank you, I can go train. Thank you that my body is there for me. And she's doing these amazing things that I never thought possible. It changes everything. So the practice of gratitude and mirror work, I think, those two guys, really. Because you have to sit, mirror work is hard, guys. You have to sit and look yourself dead in the eye and be like, girl, you got this. You are enough. You are beautiful. You are cool. And that's hard when you don't like yourself. But those two things in Mind Your Body really, really just stood out for me and gave me the confidence to be able to be like, damn it, I deserve to get that goal. I deserve to stand on that stage. I'm going to do it. So, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I've obviously been following your journey and I think it was a month or so after Mind Your Body, you and one of the other ladies decided to join Biogen Face of Fitness. And that was also just so amazing to see how you went and did such a beautiful photo shoot and that's that was a moment for me where I was like wow this girl's really just stepping into herself she's really just taking ownership of who she is and you just shone in that photo shoot and every photo shoot sits just by the way because Abby's done quite a few photo shoots and love watching them but how was that experience for you as well doing photo shoots for yourself and celebrating your body and showing it off to the world so that was obviously it's quite scary because you you're bearing it all so you're like oh <laughs> <laughs> and just for anybody that might be a little bit confused, it was a bikini, like a bikini or like a crop top photo shoot. It wasn't bearing everything, <laughs> just in case people get the wrong idea. So it wasn't a nude photo shoot, but it was a bikini photo shoot. So just to give the audience some context, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yes, it was a, a gym crop top and then a um, bikini bottom. But yeah, so as I said, it is, it's very nerve wracking. Sure. When you do your first photo shoot in, a, in years and you're like, okay, I'm going to do this. So um, when, yeah, when I left Mind Your Body, when Mind Your Body ended and I decided to go into that, it was very much kind of like a cathartic experience for me because it was healing the past wounds that told me, listen, you can't do this. You're not good enough. And then I was just like, cool, like, whatever I'm not going to listen to you bad boys I'm going to do this I'm going to get scared and I'm going to face my fears and I'm going to do it and yeah so I went into that shoot with that kind of mindset just being like even if I don't win face of fitness which I didn't sorry spoiler alert but <laughs> <laughs> even if I don't win or even if I don't place I'm still going to make I'm going to honor this photo shoot for myself and I'm going to do it for me for the you know just to celebrate the progress that I had made mentally and physically so yeah that that's basically to sum that up how that went <laughs> and obviously mind your body is a lot about the mind body connection and yeah. the mind body connection is such a fascinating concept because it really I mean it goes so far beyond just you know oh I'm thinking about something and my body's like walking for example it goes so so deep so you said that physically things have started changing. Do you believe it was a result of your mental state? Yes, completely. I really, really think it was. Because, I mean, if you, like, for example, if you go to the gym and you're hating your time there, you know, it doesn't work. It doesn't go so lacquer. So you start, you know, resenting going to the gym. You start hating those sessions. You don't want to go. You make excuses to not go. And then, you know, you don't make your progress because you're finding every reason to not get to the gym. Whereas when you're in the right mindset and you're like, yes, my body deserves this. I deserve to be healthy. I deserve to be in my peak fitness. I deserve to be 
the best version of myself that I can. That whole relationship that you've got with training changes as well. So instead of hating it, you start loving it because you're like, yeah, I deserve this. Yes, I deserve to lift those weights. Yes, I deserve to like do that bench press. So it, the mindset when it comes to just being okay with yourself is so important. I really do believe that. Yeah. And I mean, also we work with our relationship with food in Mind Your Body as well. It's not just necessarily about a physical thing. So did you have any sort of relationship with food before entering Mind Your Body? What is your relationship like now with food? Um, yeah, just walk us through that process. Yeah, I did. I had a banner relationship with food before Mind Your Body. <laughs> we weren't the best of friends. And yet we were at the same time. It was a very love-hate relationship. Um, I had a very, very unhealthy relationship with food. And I had had that my entire life. Um, and then, yeah, with Mind Your Body, working through that kind of highlighted things that I would have never thought of, you know, being the cause for that bad food relationship. And now I am in such a better mind space with food because um, it took a long time, guys. I'm not going to lie. It's not like easy, like, okay, one, two, three, done. There you go, you're good. But now I've started, I've made that mental shift of viewing food as a reward to actually viewing food as my fuel, to keeping my body going, you know, and I would have never been able to do that if I didn't do the Mind Your Body uh, workshop because I would have still had those same kind of thought processes saying, no, food is your reward. If you're sad, eat food. If you're happy, eat food. If it's your birthday, eat food. We always have an excuse to eat food. And Mind Your Body just kind of helped me see that don't reward yourself with food. Reward yourself with going to the gym, being able to run, those kind of cool things. Reward yourself with a nice gym outfit, you know, replace that and view your food as your fuel and you'll be happier. So beautiful. Yeah. Love it. And something I really want to touch on that you've just spoken about is that this course is not a magic pill. It still takes time to integrate everything because I think a lot of people have a misconception where they're like oh if I just do one hypnosis I'm going to all of a sudden fix all my limiting beliefs and I'll be all of a sudden squeaky clean and bright and beautiful on the inside but it's just like going to gym you're not going to get that six-pack if you just do like five sit-ups and never go back to the gym um, it's not a one fix solution it's not a and there's also not a one size fits all solution when it comes to mindset when it comes to this deeper work because you know each and every single person is so unique and is so individual. And you spoke earlier about the community that we formed in Mind Your Body. And it is, it's such a special space. It really is. It has the most beautiful, beautiful souls in it. And those ladies are all different and all had different progresses and all had different goals. And that's what I love is that everyone is so unique and we really try and honor that. And um, yeah, that's just something that gets me really excited. But I want to also just say like thank you for doing the work because you know I often give people tools but it's up to you whether you use them or not and I, I would say that you are somebody that's really taken these tools and over the last year I have implemented them and like you said doing neural work is really difficult doing gratitude at first is like this is a little bit uh, you know maybe it's a bit you just don't feel it but over time and I'm sure even with your gym progress you've noticed like over time these things are just building and compounding on it and suddenly you look back and you're like was that where I was a few months ago was is that where I was a year ago so looking back on the last year can you actually comprehend everything that you've achieved because I think we started working on Mind Your Body in May I think it was May so we're almost we're almost there it's almost a year down the line looking back over the last 10 months are you able to actually comprehend everything you've been able to achieve? Not at all. <laughs> to be quite honest with you, it's in, it's incredible. Um, okay, first off, I feel like I didn't even have a year last year because of COVID, you know, that situation. So <laughs> I keep referring to like memories I've got in 2019 because I'm like, oh, you know, last year didn't happen. So yeah, we're still in 2020. <laughs> no, it's crazy but just physically the progress that I've made and mentally the progress that I've made is it's like chalk and cheese the two different people that I am um, one of the biggest things that I can say that is different between last year and this year is that I respect myself 
And mm. that is such a huge goal for me to just be able to say, Abby, I respect you and I love you and I know what you deserve now. So after Mind Your Body, I actually went through quite a big change in terms of everything in my life where, you know, I was like, I'm going to cut out everything that doesn't serve me to reach my, my goal and my best self. And that included friends, that included like habits, all of those kind of things. So this year is a completely different just outlook on everything. You know, I'm in a new circle now. Um, I've got so many different habits that I'm like, you know, I, I care more about going to gym than going out. <laughs> like, please close the restaurants. Just leave my gym. <laughs> it's yeah, Kai, it's like chalk and cheese, quite honestly. Like the person that I was when I started Mind Your Body to the person that I am almost a year later. It is, I can't even, I want to cry. It is so just vastly different. So. Well, I was actually talking to my team yesterday and this is a little bit embarrassing, but I was talking to them about like that I was interviewing you and just giving them like how proud I am of you. And I burst into tears. I was like, don't know where that came from, but I am. I'm just so proud of this girl who's just, you know, because um, I know what a bad space you were in before Mind Your Body. And to see, I mean, I think even if we had to go and watch the video of you interviewing me on your podcast, or if listeners even had to go see it, they would actually hear a difference in your voice. And your whole aura, your whole energy has changed since that time. Like I remember you were, you didn't sit up as straight and you didn't like, you hold yourself in such a different way, which is just, it's honestly mind blowing to see the comparison and the difference and everything. One thing I want to touch on is that I'm sure you still have bad days because we all do, we're human, right? We're, this is not like a magic pill again that fixes everything. And then you this happy unicorn that lives happily ever after, but when you have your bad days now, are they as bad as the days you used to have? And do you feel that you have the tools to deal with those bad days better? Uh, completely, completely. First of all, let me just say thank you so much. You're so cute. That was like my heart very happy what you said. <laughs> but yeah, getting back to the bad days, yeah, guys, we all have bad days and you're going to mm. have a bad day. You know, your last bad day is not your last bad day. There's going to be another one. Um, but I'm definitely more well equipped to deal with them now. And as far as like the magnitude of said bad days, they are so much better. Like I used to, because I'm a very volatile person, like I said to Kylie, I am an open book, so I'm just going to tell everything. So I'm an, naturally a very, very volatile person with a very short fuse. And I'm also, I've got a flair for the dramatic arts. So when something is terrible, I'm like, ah, it's the end of the world, nothing going right, ah, and it really is the end of the, well, it used to be the end of the world in my head, but now, since I've done Mind Your Body and really kind of paid attention to um, journaling and gratitude, that has changed my bad days so hectically, and guys, I know what you're thinking, like, when you're in a bad space, being grateful is really hard, because you're like, oh, what is there to be grateful for, I can't be grateful for anything, just the fact that you can breathe, you should be grateful for. There's so there's always a way to find gratitude in everything that you do. And by doing that and by journaling, it really helps me put in perspective how big this cataclysmic issue is that I thought it was. You know, it puts in perspective that, mm -hmm. okay, lady, this is actually a tiny little bump in the road. It's not that bad and we can get through it. So... Yeah. amazing and I know I can always expect a journal order from you like every three or four months which is amazing um so I know Abby 100% does do her journaling because I get orders from her all the time which is like thank you for the support as well um but that is yeah I think that is something that really can help a person get out of a dark hole is that okay, I've woken up today, which means I've got another day to live out my purpose and maybe you don't know what your purpose is right now and maybe you don't know why you're on this this earth but the fact that you've woken up means that universe god source whatever higher power you invest your time and energy into has gifted you another opportunity has gifted you another day to to be alive to breathe in air and that is something huge to be grateful for so yeah when ever somebody's in a dark hole and if you are listening to this now and you know you might be in a dark hole because again give yourself grace when you do look back on the past year 
it hasn't been a normal year. It has been a very tumultuous year for a lot of people. There has been a lot of loss, loss of jobs, loss of life, loss of a lot of things. But the fact that you're listening to this means that one, you're able to listen to this. Two, you have a device in which you can listen to this episode on. And that in itself are two things to be grateful for. Um, and just by going on a gratitude rant is something so powerful. So to anybody listening now, a gratitude rant, you can just place your hand on your heart and just start by breathing into that space. You can say to yourself out loud, I'm so grateful and thankful that I'm awake today. I'm so grateful and thankful that I can hear my heart beating. I'm so grateful and thankful that I'm listening to this podcast. And you go on and you go on. And it's amazing. You go from a state of there's nothing to be grateful for and I hate everything to, okay, I can see that. I, I, I can see that. I can acknowledge that. And then all of a sudden it starts flowing and flowing and flowing. And this is this outpouring of beautiful emotions because you can't feel gratitude and lack gratitude and fear gratitude and I hate the world at the same time it's, it's physically impossible so you, you choose which frequency you want to operate on and obviously gratitude is one of the higher frequency emotions that you get to choose which is just so beautiful yeah no exactly and like when you're on that higher vibration nothing can get in your way you feel so good so seriously guys if you're having a down day be grateful not for the down day but for everything else in your life Agreed. And even the down day, it's teaching you something, what you are going through, you are growing through. And yeah, the down days are teaching us a, well, teaching us a lesson and there's something there for us to learn. So Abby, I would love to know from you if, if there is a listener right now who is perhaps on the fence, like, should I join Mind Your Body? Should I not? What advice would you give them or how would you tell them more about the investment of Mind Your Body? So the advice that I would give them is go off your phone on your screen and go to Mind Your Hero and click on the link and join. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's very simple <laughs> advice. <laughs> very simple as that, but no, guys, honestly, I would never, like, I'm not endorsing this. I mean, Kylie didn't ask me to endorse Mind Your Body, but I would never, like, endorse something that I didn't believe in and that didn't actually change my life. And Mind Your Body, one hundred and fifty billion cover zillion percent changed my life because it gave me like this path that I'm on now I wouldn't like Kylie said I wouldn't be on if it wasn't for mind your body like mind your body gave me the confidence in myself and the belief in myself to go for my dream of going to the IFBB and now I'm doing it and you can do it too so if you're on the fence I get you okay I'm, I also used to be a very on the fence kind of person but if you are wondering if this is the right idea for you or not, it definitely is. Thank you. And yeah, like Abby said, I haven't endorsed her. She, I asked her to come on because I know she has the confidence to do things like podcasts and being on video and she's very comfortable in herself, which is also just so beautiful. Abby, I just want to say thank you so much for your time today. I've really loved chatting with you and catching up with you and Definitely, we'll all be following you on your IFBB journey. And I hope they stream it live because I'll be that person like crying and going, go, go, girl. <laughs> like, I just can't wait to see those photos and I can't wait to see you shining. Um, yeah, like even getting whew, a bit teary eyed here. <laughs> Oh, that will be the end of this <laughs> <laughs> yeah so before we get too much more emotional but I just want to say thank you so much I honor your time I honor you as a person and thank you for sharing the light as well on your platforms and through your journey because I think so many ladies look up to you that you don't even realize and I think you know yeah it's just something very really really special that you're doing on your platforms and with your voice so thank you thank you so much for sharing everything it's such a pleasure Kaya such a pleasure. Bye, everyone. We will be chatting to you soon.